Yep, back out. This time, it's Monday, about uh, half past three, Monday afternoon. Got a week off, like, so I thought, I'm not going anywhere really special. This is sort of nick, uh, a sneaky wild camping. Well, I've got the chance. Oop. Watch the step. Oh, lovely little place, Borrowdale. It's very picturesque. You just got to go low, like not a big, not a big massive fell because of the weather. It's brutal, the wind up there. So I'm just going to keep it low, about a thousand feet. Hopefully up there. Oh dear. Flipping didn't feel well. Been at um, craft beer calling on Saturday. Me and Mr. All About the Views. Oh, and Mark Thompson was there. What a night! All the craft beer companies. Ah, you have, a, have a drink of that. It's only 11%. Oof. Still, I'm recovered like Monday. This, that was Saturday. The water's crystal clear. Nights here. I'm very unfamiliar with Borrowdale. I said not to come here. But this time I thought, you know, run out of daylight. I went I was gonna go up um, on Harterfell, up in the Horswater area, but the flipping road's closed. The road's closed just after the shop turn off. So can I get any further? I was like, what? So I had to detour and come all the way back here. So that's why the low, the low climb. Hopefully it'll be all right up there. I've seen a couple of campers up there before, so it should be a pitch. Because it's Monday, school night. No beer. There's no beer. What am I, what am I doing? People think I'm a beer monster. I never drink through the week. This is the weekends. Saturday, Saturday go a bit mad from camping. That's the only beer I have. Is what you see in the videos. Well. And Sunday I'll maybe have a couple of glasses of wine. A couple of glasses equals one bottle. And then that's it. I don't have anything else still. Hey, sometimes Friday night I have a couple, but not much. Not a great drink, I like. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Everything, so I'm a bit a monster, but I'm really not. Just to make it look that way. I used to be. But now I'm trying to get fit. Anyway, waffling. This is an absolutely lovely little path. It's half term, so there's a few kiddies around, but they're all going home now. It looks nice. This is the bridge you come to if you want to come to Castle Crag. You park at Rosthwaite National Trust Car Park. And then you walk out of the car park, turn to the right, follow the back of the farm, through the farm, just follow the path. Go over that bridge there. And you go off to the right, and then there's a left up the hill. This is very nice here, like, isn't it? It's peaceful as well. So you come, you come to two gates. You take the right-hand gate with the national national park sign on it. Situation. Hey, moo cows. Come on, meet me there. Out the way, sorters. This is a public right of way, sorters. See if the farmer leaves them out. They're normally not going to be dangerous. Like it's a public path. There is calves, mind. Being public right of way, they wouldn't put up. Oh, they wouldn't put dangerous cows out there. I think <laughs> here's some people here trapped. I think that's the path we go up left actually. After surviving that menace, 
we find ourselves on the path. So that path there keeps you low around the bottom of it. So you go over the stile and then up there, follow that path. It'll be the steep one, wouldn't it? But that's the way up I over the stile. I'll edit this out if it's not. <laughs> but I think it is. According to the map it is. Well I'm nearly at the top I think. Look at this place. A lot of slate. Loads and loads of slate. Just lying about. Deadly to walk on. That was just sliding down the hill. Really steep. This bit here. It's steep on a par with blooming hell of hell in that. Just that bit though. And then there's this bit. And it looks good to get out of the trees. I think there's a clearing. And then you're on, on the last bit. Up to the top. And yeah, we'll push on. I don't think there's anybody up here now. See the trees? That's, that's level, that camera. <laughs> that's a, a steep hill, like. Sorry, though, it's short, so here's me thinking a hey, nice easy walk. This. That's, that's about how steep that path was. This is the bit I've got to go up to the top. Uh, you can see there's actually there's somebody up there. So no walk in the park, like. Thing is, so it took us about 20 minutes to get here. So it's not that bad. Let's see if I can find the memorial into the top. I'll push on because this path's dodgy as hell. It's what you're walking on. It's not exactly a red cop. This is it, it's the beginning of the path. This is wild. Who the hell built this? It's <laughs> the path here. Just drops off into space. Who? Who on earth built this? Far too much time on my hands. Onwards. Brain goings on. There's a lot of these standing stones at the top. Not quite at the top. It's having a mooch. Somebody down there. It's not staying. Just a small pack, so should be on his way. What a queer place. Everybody after three, what's it all about? So I'm hoping to get up there, like, pitch up there. It's a strange place. It's high spy up there. High spy with my little eye over the back of there though. It's just the crags. Scordell crags or something I think it is. Not actually that bad up here, wind. I suppose I'm still low. I'm getting shelter from the bigger files. So alright, I'll take that. Some people have got too much time on their hands, like. Not 
bad place for a, a little monument, is it? Oh, there's the wind. I can't really complain. It's going to be biblical wind. It's not bad. That one, the car park was worse than this. It's just a big pile of stones, like, well. That's a little shelter. I suppose I could get in there if it comes to it. Yeah, I just move these, move these out of the way. Sit there. Are your feet hanging out. Biffy bag. Boosh. Jobs a gun. Just move sleepwalk. I'm gonna see if I can get up on the top then. So pause that bit. I'll keep it there for you. Pause it and have a read. It's a, it's a memorial for the Great War, the World War I, 1918, 100 years ago. Hmm. Castle Crag, given to the National Trust. There's a, there's a hill for you. Jeez. Keep it forever. I'll just take you around here. Get a bit wind blowing here, but you know it's worth it for the view. Just got my hand over the mic, so maybe a bit weird the sound. Get that. Get that for a shot. Derwent with skid all behind it. Now I'll say. It's not a big hard walk, but I've got a big heavy pack on, remember. And I've got a little bit of a sweat on, like. Now we're at the pitch. I'm going to find a, a spot which is flat. I'll see from there. But for now, I'm just going to have a sit down, like. Yeah, that wind's picking up now, like. I'm set up. Everybody's gone. I can hear voices, but it's uh, the geese in that above my head. Here's the spot. Look at that for a pitch. Somebody with a big dog's been up here, right? The dog's done that and they've left it, you dirty, dirty people. You shouldn't have dogs if you're going to do that. I hope I never catch somebody like you know, I will probably. Punch them in the face if I see somebody letting a dog do that and just leaving it. Same with like leaving rubbish about. You just want to knock them out, like. There's just no need for it. Absolutely disgusting behaviour. Place like this and you're just dumping crap everywhere. You know who you are. Just to prove my point. Let's see if I can find this little spot here. Ugh. See, you come up. You sit here and you put your fire in there. Now why would you do that? What sort of dickhead does that? This is why. This is why we have to be stealthy and sneak around and not, not camp where there's people everywhere. Because there's dickheads like that. I, that burns me that. If I see somebody doing that, I will knock you out. So don't do it. I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels that way. The tent's gone up weird. I've had to put it like that. I've put it on a bit of a slope because at the front there, you know, at the front I can't get the guy lanes out because it's just rocks. I kind of get them in the ground like so. Yeah. It's solid, it's gone nowhere. It just looks weird, but it's alright. Hunchback hilly. <laughs> yeah, it's just the way I've pitched it because it's in a bit of a dip. It's that's uh, a bit of a dip there. There's no right thing about it. It's rock solid, it's got nowhere. That'll do. It's alright inside as well. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Look at this place though. Yeah. Some view that. It's the view out the door actually. It's over there. 
I don't know the name of these fells. The Bowder Stone is over there somewhere. Google the Bowder Stone. It's a giant rock. In the mean giant rock. It's just there. It's just planted in the middle of nowhere. How it got there, nobody knows. So what I'm going to do is get a kettle on, have a cup of tea, folks, or a pot noodle. One of the two. Well, oh, tense weird. It's bothering us, but it's alright. It'll do. It will do. So we are pitched for the night, Monday night. Yeah, and I'm just sitting here, chilling out, looking at the view. The last of the sun going down. Quarter to six now, I think. Ten to, ten to six. Just gonna relax now, like, something, something to eat and then sit and chill. Got some, um, down pants, down breeks, just in case, like, down breeks and rab hot socks, these are good, like, you keep your feet nice and warm, and see if I can get one on, let's see what they're like, they're great these, I have nicked them off carry, like, but, you know, so I can borrow them. <laughs> Down feet. Hot socks. The thing is I'm not even cold. It's not cold, it's 10 degrees. Windy like, but it's not cold. Not for me. For some people it will be, but I don't feel the cold that much. Right, this is a spot and a half like. Really good. I've covered that dog mess over with some big slates. So hopefully nobody will stand in it. Kind of do nothing about the burnt, um, the burnt bit of grass. That's not that like. That's shocking. It's phone signal here. It's on enough. But I'm just gonna sit and chill out. Get the kettle on. It's weird not drinking on a camp. There's the, uh, the big old moon heading up into the clouds. I think that might be the last we see of the moon for tonight because it's just a thick blanket of cloud, which in a way is good because it's keeping the temperature up, but Another way to look at this, there's going to be no stars, which is a shame. Not worry. There it goes. Gone. Here's the moon away, folks. Wild, 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 wild. This back bit here is where the wind's coming. It was coming across here. I've got the door. There's no wind coming in the door, so that's alright. 
we're going to put up with that. It's far enough off us. We've got the bag in the cap. It's strong that wind though. Gust 25 mile an hour. We've got the kestrel with this. Ooh. This wind all through the summer, all through all the time. It never stops like, it never gives up the wind. But neither do I, or should I say, neither do we. A lot of people's camps have been spoiled by the wind, but they've always gone through with them. That's why you need good gear, you know. If you're gonna do it. Oh, I could turn this off. Down the hatches. Ready, ready. One last gust. The trees and swinging up there. Yeah, it's absolutely mad because it's gusty as out the wind. It's coming and going. It's blowing round in circles. For example, there's nothing now, right? Oh, this is not the greatest footage ever, is it? Mate, look, it's calm as out, right? Really calm. Really wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just comes from nowhere. You don't even hear it coming. Gonna have this all night. Luckily, luckily, I've got a secret weapon. A secret weapon. Ear plugs. I'm gonna need them tonight, like, otherwise, I'll get no sleep. But I bet you I do sleep with them in because they're good. Oh, it's wild. It's proper wild. Turn as well. It's coming from the side. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit disconcerting that it's coming from the side, as opposed to the original position of the wind. But uh, there's nothing I can do. Just have to tough it out. Recorded 30 mile an hour gust on the Kestrel. I'm pretty sure it's a bit, a little bit more than 30 mile an hour now. When it hits, it hits hard, like... Fun and games. If I do have to bail out, it's not far to go back down. Oh, lad. It's only 8 o'clock. Hidey high. No. Not a thing. Oh, what a night it's been. That wind. It's been brutal. Absolute torture. Oh, come in. Let's see what we've got. Oh dear. It's been horrendous. Never stopped gusts all night. I'm not much sleep like. I need a kip when I get home. But uh, no, I've woke up to this. Listen. Oh. I think I recorded 30 miles an hour, but I'm sure it's more than that. It has to be. This has to be more than 30 miles an hour now. That's just crazy, like. It's not letting up either. I gotta get up, drop this tent and then get down. Because I'm sick of it, like... No bloody sleep. Not much. Even with earplugs, it was disturbed, so... That's how bad it was. A guy lane came out at one point, so I had to get up and put that back in. There's a peg came on. 
this ground up here is absolutely terrible. It's not good for uh, pegging out. Like it's a lot rocky, you know. I to bash them in. But you know, the tent's only as good as you put it up. It's all right. It survived. It's all right. It's noisy, like. Cold stuff. Eh? Uh, it's eight o'clock. I'm gonna get up and get out. Get home. Let's stop off for something to eat on the way. But just wanna get down for now. Like, I'm sick of this wind. Listen, here it comes. Isn't that awful? Me. It's been like that all night. <laughs> Neat. There you go. Packed. I was there. Oh, there. I've checked for pegs. I always leave a peg these days. But this wind has just killed this camp like boring. Stuck in my tent. Sick of my life. I hate wind, right? If it's going to be windy, I'm not going to go on camping. Because it's just no fun, like you can't do anything. You can't get out, you're worried about your tent, you're just constantly worried about things falling on you, blown away. It's just ridiculous, like. There was no stars, just thick cloud. Not a great camp, like. It's nice to be out, but uh, I think it's a bit of a waste of time. Anyway, I'll not be long back to the car, so that's the one thing. So, unless anything happens on the way down, I'll just leave it there. Leave it there, a view of Derwent. The view is all there, I felt like. Because we all know. Come on, let's get to the pub. Let's get to Morrison's for brekkie. 